Lion looks good, a couple are getting a bit edgy here. Gates open their way in the Tyndall Memorial and Doc O'Connor blew the start. He was slow to muster and getting out well. Expert witness, rising sphere. Oh, his man away, Will's right there settling down. Canton Kid and Doc O'Connor after the poor start last and will make it second last now improving, but he wants to get it over and done with as quick as he can inside the 700 metre mark where there's a line of three. Rising Sphere, expert witness, ID's man. They're at it at the top end and Doc O'Connor's about to move up four deep. About four lengths back then to Canton Kid before the turn where Rising Sphere moved away. Got the better of expert witness. ID's man is poised before the turn and then Doc O'Connor, the petrol gauge running a bit empty now and a gap to Canton Kid. It's Rising Sphere heading for home at the 250, the leader. ID's man with a big weight's trying to get out after him, but Rising Sphere had a break. Canton Kid runs on from expert witness Doc O'Connor, but it's all Rising Sphere. He's racing away inside the 100 metre mark. ID's man's brave as and just behind those Canton Kid, but Rising Sphere too good. Wins it by two and a half on the line. Second will be ID's man, Canton Kid. A gap then, expert witness and Doc O'Connor. A poor getaway put pay to his chances of the last one home. Rising Sphere. Was Coming off the Montgomery sprint to Lightning on Cup Day, has backed that up with a big win today. Was able to control it pretty, well, not so much control it, but he had the inside advantage in the run. And he's held off the challenges. ID's man was brave, as with the big weight. And Canton Kidder was off pace, has been able to pick up a couple in the drive to the line and get into third spot as we wait for these interim numbers to come through. Rising Sphere, Yanish Luxman. ID's man there for Mark Pegas in second spot there. Third should go to five Canton Kid for Stan Sakos as we wait for these interims to uh, filter through in 57.15. So um, the jockey challenge this afternoon. Yanich finishes up on five points. Uh, ID's man for Mark Pegas will get him to eight points and he'll take it out, uh, Mark Pegas, today, the jockey challenge. Well done to uh, him. $17 in the Jockey Challenge today, uh, Gus. Good luck if you got a bit of that. And uh, third will go to five, Canton Kid. Stan Sankos had a fair day, but he finished on four points. Fourth goes to number four, expert witness for Hannah LeBlanc. And fifth went to two, Doc O'Connor start. Not helping his cause there, 57 one, five. But the winner three, Rising Sphere is a seven-year-old Bay Gelding, Exo Sphere. Intense rose for uh, uh, J W J Dalziel, C S Lawrence, G N McNulty, Mrs T A Thompson, G H E Goyne, R A McNulty, D P Linton, Deep Fire Racing, three managed by A Hoffer. Uh, in behind those, are Royal Brothers uh, managed by P C Egan, B A Quinlan, Mrs C L Irvine, T G Shaw, and S M Clark. Trained by Gary Clark, taking the feature day. And Yannish Luxman getting a winner on today's card. Well done to uh, Yannish. One ID's man, seven-year-old Brown Gelding, Brazen Bow, Innovation Girl, trained by Chris Nash, Mark Pegas. So Mark Pegas takes out the jockey challenge this afternoon. And third goes to five, Canton Kid, a seven-year-old chestnut going, written tycoon, Marla's son, Lisa Whittle, Stan Sakos running OK, coming off pace. So we stand by, folks, for correct weight to come through. Almost been a great day's racing.